The question is, what is the difference between the mindset of rich versus poor people? Hi, I'm Cliff Weldon, an entrepreneur to help you access the biblical tools to learn how to prosper and be in good health financially, mentally, and physically, even as your soul prosper. Number one, pursue purpose. For what? For yourself, for your family, friends in your circle, and people in your community. That's what rich people do. What are the thinking patterns of the different classes of people? Well, first of all, poor people talk a lot about money all the time. Oh, I need money for this. I need money for that. Oh, I'm so this and I'm so that. And they work themselves crazy to try to make ends meet. Rob Peter to pay Paul. You ever heard that one before? <laughs> I used to use that. Yes. Rich people talk about things. You know, they just talk about this thing and that thing. They're always talking about building stuff. But now wealthy people talk about ideas. Now, help you to understand the three levels that you need in order to have a prosperous and wealthy life. First of all, the first level is implementation. That means I'm doing, constantly working. That's the worker. The second level is communication. Maybe you're in management. Some areas where you're basically directing people and talking, you have a little bit more money that you make. And the top level, those who make 100,000 plus per month, per, per, per day, whatever, that's called imagination. So that's the highest level of return. For example, you think about this platform you're looking at today, Facebook, YouTube, somebody with somebody's imagination, Apple, the iPhone. That was Steve Jobs' imagination, and he implemented Tesla, Elon Musk. Now, when we talk about Tesla, we don't talk about Elon Musk. We talk about the car Tesla. Microsoft. How about the rideshare companies? Remember when Uber and Lyft were competing against one another? And how has that changed our lives today? For example, when I go on a trip uh, versus calling a cab, I'll call, get a rideshare, Uber or Lyft. So. Look at those imaginations. How about Airbnb, you know, versus going to hotel? Airbnb is the big thing now. <laughs> yes. And then everybody uses Amazon. <laughs> hey, in a click, I'm going to instead of be going out to the store to go to the local uh, brick and mortar store. Uh, let me just click on it and get it from Amazon. So you see, it's all about imagination. If you want to prosper and be in good health, you got to start using your imagination. So you want to be in a point of deploying versus employing. So you want to be a deployer. That means you want to organize, implement ideas, implement things so that you can employ people. Now, if you're employed, you're constantly working all the time. The employee means to engage, to work. So here's the key that Solomon learned. He said, wisdom allows you to apply what you know so you can be a deployer versus an employee. I would like you to join me in Myron Golden Enterprises as we look at the Making More Offers Challenge. How can you move up to the next level? How can you use your imagination to make more money, to do the things that you love to do? Click the link in this video or click the link down below and join me. As we learn together, and we, as Myron Golden teaches us how to get to that next level, make more office challenge. Now, it's going to be, it's going to change your life. Trust me, it's going to change your life. And if you know someone that needs to have a change in their life, send this video to them. Hit the like button. Forward it to them. Let them know. Share this information with them so that they can learn what they need to do in order to get unstuck. I'm Cliff Walden, and thank you so much for joining me today.